This is an ABP Life podcast. Welcome back to ABP Life podcast on the show Spiritology with me Sneha Jain from the Hope Tarot. Today we are going to know everything about the week from 27th of November to 3rd of December. Let us see what the week has for us. Starting from the Aries. Aries, it's a good time for you to travel and you're outshining. I think it is a good time for people who are planning for fame, recognition and all that. I think you're moving one step ahead in the terms of success. You're being very successful this week. So I think the week is going to have a lot of balance between the happy you and the excited you and the grateful you. So I think it's going to be a very, very good week, Aries. Talking next about the Taurus. My Taurus are... A little aloof, alone, isolated, uh, negative initially in the week. But after the mid of the week, you start feeling better about things. And you start feeling more aligned towards things. So I am sure that the week is starting a little slow, but it is progressing uh, after the mid. And that can bring to you a lot of abundance and positive opportunities. Talking next about my Gemini. The Gemini are creating possibilities, but they are creating possibilities with their own way i think you're trusting the process you're trusting the flow and you are slowing down and it's okay i think you're incubating to make a plan and this plan is going to work specifically work related growth i can see this growth may be not seen to others but seen to you for now but after that period i think it's going to be a good period talking next about my cancer the cancer are having a self-absorbed zone of energy you are having a fighting spirit and everybody around is recognizing you. So you, they are the things that you have never told people and you are telling them now. So when you are telling them now, they are recognizing how good you are at that and how brilliantly you can work. So I am sure Cancer that this is a week of setting a mark you know, on people, setting a mark on the society. And they can really recognize you for the good things that you have done. And I think that's power, that's beauty. From Cancer, we go to the Leos. The Leos are tuning into themselves and they are finding love. You are coming out of the shell of resistance, where you were resistant talking to people, resistant expressing yourself to the lover, resistant talking about your stand. And I think this is a week where you're self-absorbed, you're understanding what I want and you're expressing it to the other people. That's good. I also see good growth at work front and recognition fame is coming to you. But you're doing it your way, innocent, slow. But this is a, a good way of doing those things. Talking next about my Virgos, the Virgos are thinking about the past, comparing themselves with people, being jealous, it's not sure why. Don't compare yourself, you're not like others and others can't be like you, you're just two different things, you know, two different people, two different energies. Don't engross yourself in comparison uh, with others and don't think about the past that what happened in the past will happen with me again. It is not going to be like that. I want you to please, please stay, stay safe, stay clear and don't be clingy because if you do that, the positive vibes will never come. Okay. And then we talk about the Libras. Libras, a good transformation is coming. You're completely in control and you can be outrageous. You can be talking to people about things. You can be expressing the best of yourself and that is something that the Libras actually want. I think you want to be heard. And this is something which is a good sign because you are controlling things, you are making it better and you are transiting into a good week. So this is going to be a very productive week, specifically at work. I think sub log recognize karenge that you are, going to, you are going to be outrageous this week. Talking next about my Scorpions. The Scorpions are doing things silently, loving silently appreciating silently working silently and that's mature that's good because you are doing things to make things better this week is going to be very good week for people who are having some kind of elemental problems health issues you're gonna be fine and you're gonna be good okay so whatever is happening is only healing the scorpions and you're becoming so much better Talking next about my Sagittarius. My Sagittarius are going with the flow of success and uh, a great, great news on the study front on, uh, you know, anything that you've enrolled into 
for the students a brilliant time for loving energy is marriage is going to be a brilliant time time of an accomplishment time of uh, eating the fruit of the plant that you uh, that you planted years ago so this is a time where you will feel in control and you will feel so successful so happy so joyous i think a good romance a good love good positive energy is coming your way sagittarius beautiful week talking next about the capricorns capricorns are feeling lethargic but then work gets you going so you're working on things your friends are there to support you spending time in friends and family is needed you can be around the friends travel with them also so this is a time where you will be having a good control on yourself but the thing is that you have to balance this thing because if you pay too much attention to work the other things can uh, can get postponed so make sure that you're balancing everything talking next about my aquarius Aquarius, brilliant week. I think you're going to have all the energy and specifically at work, everybody is coming out and appreciating the Aquarius. So you are going to have a promotion. You're going to have a financial outburst. You can have property gain, vehicle gain, um, materialistic gain. Everything is right here in front of you. I think, you know, everything that you build, you can just see it shining and everybody around can see the the rising sun in the Aquarius. So it's going to be a very, very good week for you. And lastly, the Pisces. Pisces, this is a time for you to have understanding of situations that if you're not getting something, why it got delayed? Why you're not able to get it? It is maybe because something better is waiting for you. So if some things are not working or if some things are not moving, it is okay for you to even stick to it and wait for it because something beautiful, an option B, God is presenting in front of you. So this week you can have an option B, you should recognize it because this option B can be something which is a life changer. So I hope everybody has a beautiful week ahead and let's welcome the winters with this beautiful month of December. I hope that the next year brings us amazing opportunities. On that note, this is me Sneha Jain signing off from Spiritology. Until next time, we meet again next week.